Hi again, this is Peter Lindemann for Tesla Chargers, and today we're going to be talking about the Tesla Solar Tracker 5 model S160A12. This is their 12 volt, 150 amp uh, sol solar charge controller, the, the latest model to enter the line. And um, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the, the operating features of this unit and all the other Solar Tracker 5s. Um, so, um, this unit is designed to be connected to uh, nominally called 12 volt panels and charge into nominally called 12 volt batteries. But of course the panels can go up to about 21 volts on an open circuit, um, uh, you know, full sun. And the batteries, of course, the 12 volt batteries, if you've been watching all of our materials and all of the stuff on rejuvenation, you know we're going to try and charge those batteries up to about 15. Uh, so those are the, that's the range that we're going to be wanting to operate the system in. This meter is only available on the, um, the 160 uh, model. And uh, each unit has a red light and a green light. And so right now this unit is connected um, both to the batteries. Down here we've got some L16s. These are big 500 amp hour 6, six volt batteries. We've got two of them in, para, in series here and they come out to these terminals here. So this is the uh, output or the battery connection. These other uh, um, connections for the input here go over to this power supply and all these units are are um, operated and tested for about a week or so before they're shipped um, by being powered by a power supply. And that's also something that you can do at home if you, um, if you want to top your batteries after the sun goes down, you can get yourself a, a, a power supply, plug it in to a, a secondary um, source of electricity and use the, use the unit plugged into a power supply. So this has um, a both uh, an ampere rating here and a volt rating. And um, this thing maxes out at about 50 amps output. This, of course, can take up to 150 amps input. So this is uh, only about capable of producing about a third of the, of the kind of power that this thing can run on. But what I want to do is I want to uh, turn this on and show you a little bit about how this works and what happens with the lights and, and the meters. <clears throat> so uh, there's a couple of fans that are going to come on, um, so I'll, I'll try and talk over this as it comes on. So this is the on switch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick this on. <clears throat> and immediately we can see that it goes right to the top. We've got it set for maximum input, 50 amps, and about 18.4 uh, volts um, here is what we're going to be, what we're supplying this uh, to charge the batteries. And if you look on the specification sheets that we have on uh, Tesla Charger's website, you'll see that this is um, the, this voltage, uh, about 18.5, is, is uh, the nominal maximum that we're uh, recommending that uh, your solar panels can produce to, to run one of these Solar Tracker 5, the 12 volt models. I'm going to bring this back up. So as, as we see here, as this voltage starts rising, and it, um, so it's up to 14.1 on the batteries. This is, again, the voltage on the battery. We've got the voltage on the input here at 18.6, and you can see that the current is already dropping um, as these two voltages start coming closer. And... Um, so this is, this is the typical operation of any of these Solar Tracker 5s. Um, some people don't like how loud the fan is, but these, these units uh, have to have active cooling. Um, they're very, very efficient, uh, but they do need to be cooled, and they um, don't do anything that uh, defeats the fan or anything else, or the, the unit may um, uh, malfunction and won't be covered by warranty of repair if you do that. So we can see that the voltage is coming up rather rapidly. We are charging these batteries at uh, 36.3, actually probably a little bit higher than that because the voltages going into here are um, just right around 15 volts. 
So uh, again, the, uh, this unit creates um, a, a, the most unique set of circumstances for any uh, solar uh, uh, charge controller because it protects the batteries um, from dropping out of a charge mode during the day, even if you ask your inverter running from the batteries to deliver power or anything else, the batteries stay charging um, because of uh, the operation of the Solar Tractor 5. So um, this is uh, the, the standard, the standard um, operation of it. Um, this green light comes on at what, what voltage? 15. 15. So when the green light comes on, it'll It'll continue to rise slightly, yeah, but it comes on at about 15, which means you've you've man you basically 14.8 will come up. It'll start it'll start coming up. Um, so it um, very gently uh, tops the batteries uh, with very little off gassing or uh, any other damage to the battery. The batteries don't heat up being charged this way. It's really great, and um, so that's the uh, Solar Tracker 5. Uh, this is um, the model S 160A12, and there's also a 24 volt uh, model for it. And we wanted to show you the inside of this amazing um, Tesla Solar Tracker 5, and basically this is why uh, we tell you you can't defeat the fan. You can see this huge cooling uh, jacket in here where the air is flowing through, and all these all these transistor switching devices in, in the system, this is what needs to be cooled continuously. And um, so um, the, 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 the system is designed, uh, it's, it, there's no digital uh, control of this. This is a purely analog device. And um, so there's nothing to break down. Um, and you know, it's got, it's got, you know, huge circuit breakers and huge wire and all this kind of stuff on the inside. And all this stuff needs to be cooled properly. And uh, we just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, when we say don't defeat the cooling, we're not trying to, you know, blow smoke or anything else. This unit really needs those, uh, that feature to, um, to run properly. And um, so we thank John Bedini for uh, letting us open this thing up and show you. So uh, you can understand what this what this amazing technology is really doing. So as the as the uh, as the camera pulls away again, you can see we just flipped over from the red red light to the green light, uh, and we're at about 14.8, and it'll continue to rise up to about 15.2. Um, even with the green light on, but at this point the batteries are really close to topped out and um, So this is this is what uh, the topping event looks like um, And so this is where you want to get to at the end of every every solar charging day You want to if you can get to here your batteries are going to last for years and years and years and years and years And that's the whole idea behind this technology so again, uh, I'm Peter Lindemann, and this is Tesla Chargers.